Hey everybody, uh, hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great week. Uh, it's Sunday, so going to get my Sunday video done here. Um, been a pretty, pretty busy week. Uh, I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to do, a uh, few things I wanted to get done during the week, and then especially this weekend, I kind of had some ambitious goals, I guess. And you ever have one of those days or one of those weeks where uh, you just never seem to have enough time or, or just can't get you know, to everything you want to do? Well, that's what happened this week. So, uh, first and foremost, excuse me, first and foremost, uh, I want to thank uh, everybody for watching the channel. Um, I want to thank all the new subscribers. Uh, we're, we're every week. I'm, I'm gaining more and more subscribers, gaining more and more views. Uh, you know, the the videos themselves are being watched more. They're being watched longer, and and I love that. Uh, I think like that's awesome. That that's that's uh, really encouraging and and inspiring to me to keep on doing what I'm doing. Um, I did a video earlier this week. Kind of asked a question to some of you guys. Uh, on, on the type of videos I'm doing, the content, what you guys thought. Got some great responses on that. I appreciate everybody taking the time to uh, share your feelings on that. And seems like the, the common theme is just keep doing what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so again, thank you everyone. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your input, your interaction. Um, the suggestions and tips on, on certain videos, you know, that, that, you know, when you're helping me figure out how to do something or, or coming up with ideas on how to do something a little different, I really appreciate that. Uh, this is, this is becoming, uh, a great community of people here. And I love that we're able to, you know, through the internet, people all across the world are able to communicate and, and we, we feel connected or not feel we are connected and uh and we can work together to come up with solutions and ideas and topics and things like that and that's really 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 cool to me so uh thank you everybody i, I really appreciate it i i know i say this every week and i certainly hope it never just sounds um you know like like I'm just saying it to say it. I really, 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 truly do appreciate everyone for being here. Um, I appreciate that you take the time out of your day to watch the videos. Uh, I subscribe to several channels myself, and I know what it's how time consuming that can be to sit and watch people's videos. Uh, you know, you can get kind of drawn into this. The next thing you know, you've been sitting there for an hour or two just watching YouTube videos. So, so the fact that you choose to watch mine means a lot to me, and I appreciate that. Um, so, anyhow. A little bit about what's going on. Uh, I had planned on doing a video for uh, this weekend to get uploaded. On I had mentioned it in the other video about some another uh, chainsaw filing technique, and I did not get time to do that. Uh, was super super busy all weekend, so I'll do my best to try and get that done this week. But but I already know that I'm doing a bunch of stuff every day before work this week, so that may or may not happen. But I'll do my best. Um, anyhow. I had uh, had a neighbor who had came over and wanted to know if I would be interested in helping him fell some trees. He had planted a uh, windbreak. Um, or actually, I, I, he may have planted it. I'm not sure, or if his parents did. Uh, he's an older gentleman, but but it, the family it's a family farm, uh, generational, been there over a hundred years. And so this windbreak. Uh, he said he thought the trees were planted roughly 50 years ago, um, was planted wrong. And, uh, some of it was the wrong types for what they were trying to do. They were too close together. And so they've had issues. Tops are breaking out of some of the trees. Some of the trees are just dying from being the competition of the other trees crowding them out. So he just wanted to cut all the trees out. He's going to start all over, replant. Uh, he's done some research, and he thinks he's found a better variety of tree to plant there. So it was mostly pines, and uh, there were some dug fir, small dug firs in there, some large white pines, and uh, some other kind of pine. I don't remember what they called. So I, I, of course, said, yeah, I'll help you out. Um, he said I could have all the wood, uh, which I don't mind. I, I can burn pine here, especially you know with our outdoor burner. There's not as many concerns with creosote buildup. But even if we had a wood stove, I would still feel comfortable burning it. Um, you know, it's just how you burn it, how you keep your chimney clean and all that. So anyhow, we did that. Uh, I went over there today to just look at it. He had asked me to come by and just kind of see what, what I thought we would need. 
and we ended up cutting all day so that kind of killed my plans for doing some videos today um and then yesterday just had some other errands come up that got in the way and i mean such is life right so i do have a little bit of footage i'm going to post later uh, after i finish this one of us cutting these trees it ended up being about 30 trees all really good size um and, and the one thing i learned from this uh was how great oops i'm so sorry about that I'm trying to switch hands here how great it was to work with someone who had uh the tools for doing the job um and what i mean by that is typically when i go cut firewood or cut trees it's it's my pickup i got a wheelbarrow and my chainsaws and uh you know i don't have even a trailer um so i make multiple trips and things like that so he's telling me how you know he's got a little skid steer he's got the tractor he's got a dump trailer all this stuff so he had a plan already in his head how he wanted to do this and uh, uh, most if not all of the trees that we uh, the, the row that went along the road um, those were a particular concern to him because he didn't want obviously for them to fall across the road and cause a problem with traffic so it turns out because of how they were crowded by the row behind them which was the white pines they all were leaners and they all, of course, were leaning towards the road. Um, you could see on the inside of those trees, there was literally hardly any growth at all. No limbs, no nothing, because they were so you know, in the shadow of these other bigger trees. So all their growth, all their branches was on the outside towards the road, which was pulling those trees that way. Um, would have been fine if we could have just dropped them across the road. It would not have been an issue. Uh, they were good, live, solid trees. You know, nothing, no concern there. But every one of them had to be felled the other way. And uh, uh, the first tree we tried to wedge over um, just did not have the oomph. I, I couldn't get it to, to pop over. I mean, they were just leaning back too far. So anyhow, we uh, were able to use a skid steer, brace the trees while I did an undercut and started the back cut, then stepped away, and then he just pushed them on, and they just popped over, uh, just literally just fell right over. So it went really well, um, and it was kind of neat to, to get to work with, you know, having those tools available to do that. Um, then he, he yarded all the trees out to one of his big fields so that we could uh, brush them up, you know, cut the brushes off of it and buck them up into firewood, and that way he's going to just push the brush up into a pile when we're all done and burn it out in the field and that way it will save his yard and that was kind of nice uh, i'm not used to being able to do that usually i have to you know be delicate i'm in somebody's yard i have to you know cut the tree and, and firewood and everything right there um so that was really nice and then he has this uh big dump trailer that probably held four pickup loads of wood so using the skid steer, was able to load up the rounds into this trailer, which on the white pines, they were pretty big. I mean, they're almost two foot across at the butt. So that was really nice and helpful. And then since he literally lives two houses away, which out in the country is, you know, not next door, but uh, close enough that we were able to just take the tractor and drive that trailer over to my place and dump them by my wood pile, and I'll start splitting on those. So uh, without getting going on too long here and rambling, was just a really neat experience to get to work uh, it, with those tools and stuff available to me. Um, he's a pretty good sawyer, uh, had a good saw. You know, a lot of times when people want to help or I'm helping them or whatever, they have, you know, the wrong tools for the job, underpowered saws, stuff like that. He had a, a steel 044, uh, which was, you know, a good choice for what we were doing. Um, so yeah, so anyhow, we, uh, we ended up working all day cutting wood over there and, uh, now I have to go back every day this week before I go to work and continue bucking this stuff up for firewood. And then we'll probably do the same thing next weekend, load it in this trailer and haul it all over to my place. And somehow I have to work in there splitting the wood that, that we already got here and, and moving it, stacking it. So there's room to dump another pile. So it's going to be an interesting week, uh, be very, very busy. And, um, so we'll see how, how I can do on content. Uh, the one thing I did want to do this week like I had talked about was, uh, and I'll mention it real quick, is uh, I've just kind of started getting into square filing chains and I have a jig for that to help uh, so I don't have to freehand it. Uh, I've used it a couple of times now, uh, or more than that actually. Pretty simple to use, uh, really good results. I actually converted a standard round file square chisel chain to square filing, square round, whatever you want to call it, and it worked, I thought, really well for that. Uh, now, 
obviously I have nothing to judge this against, so I've never had the advantage of using a dedicated grinder for square grind. Um, all I had was a chain that was given to me that had been ground by somebody that has a grinder, so I kind of knew what to look for in the angles and all that. So I, I will still do that video, and I will probably do another video unrelated or related to that, just talking about the differences in how people file their chains for anybody that's interested. Um, I'm kind of really getting into that. I'm learning, like you learn in a lot of things, uh, you don't necessarily need a bigger saw or more power if you got a sharper chain or a better cutting chain. Uh, it's kind of the same thing with performance cars. You know, if you're road racing or motorcycles, road racing, stuff like that, you don't always need a bigger motor. You need better brakes, you need better suspension, things like that, you know, so you can utilize what you have available. So I try to share with people the stuff I already know about filing chains to help them, you know, like people I know at work and stuff that, you know, they may or may not need a bigger saw. Sometimes they do, you know, a lot, a lot of them have some really small, you know, kind of box store saws. But, you know, there's people that have decent stills or Husqvarna's, um, you know, kind of in the 40 to 50 cc range. And they think they need a bigger saw because they just can't cut, you know, they're not cutting what they think they fast enough or whatever. And it's probably their chain and how they sharpen it. So um, this is just one more step in that. The square grind is really interesting. So if anybody has heard about it and, and not sure what it is all about, stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll try and get something out this week where we can talk about that. And, uh, and for those of you that are experienced in it and know about it, I uh, would love to hear your comments and suggestions on things. Um, I will be trying my hand at free filing those uh, all by hand, but so far I really like using this guide. It, 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 it does make it real easy. So anyhow, uh, I'm going to sign off here. We're pushing, going over 12 minutes, so I like to keep these short. That's not that short, huh? Uh, anyhow, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for the input uh, earlier this week on the my video about you know content and stuff. I really appreciate that. That was a excellent feedback for me. Um, got a lot of new subscribers this week, probably the most in one week that I've had in a really long time, if maybe ever. Uh, that's really exciting to me. Uh, it, it's cool to see the channel grow. And like I said, all the videos are, are you know, uh, I have certain ones that get a lot of views, but but overall, just the view time on the channel is still going in, in a trending, in an upward manner. And uh, that that's good, positive feedback to me. So uh, thank you very much. I uh, hope you guys uh, have a great week coming forward. Be patient with me. I'm still trying to get this scheduling down to where I can do videos midweek and get them uploaded and posted with my job, but it's it's challenging, I'll tell you that. Um, it may get a little better in the summer uh, as, as my time you know changes with, you know, I don't have to spend as much time working with the animals and stuff in the morning uh, when it's summer out, so that might help. But, but until then, just hang in there. Trust me, I, I'm doing my best to get some content out to you guys. The other thing is, um, I like to make sure my content's good or, or informative. You know, I don't want to just, you know, just post a video for the sake of posting a video, if, if that makes any sense. So anyhow, uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Uh, I hope you continue to be here. I, I really appreciate every last one of you and uh, have a great day. We'll talk to you all again real soon now. Bye now.